Well, hi guys, and welcome back to another video. We're here at Orlando Base Flight Attendant. Hope you guys are doing wonderful. It is three in the morning. I got here about an hour and a half ago. I am currently in San Juan. I started a fake three-day trip yesterday, and we did Orlando to Baltimore, and then Baltimore to San Juan. The reason why we're here so late is because there is a flight attendant position at our airline that has a whole different schedule. And so that flight attendant was coming from a different city and was meeting us in Baltimore so that she could work with a flight with us here to San Juan. Turns out that, well, we probably don't know this either, but we can deadhead on other airlines. So this flight center was deadheading on a different airline. And this airline, unfortunately, had a delay in Charlotte, which that's where the flight attendant was. And then they had to go from Charlotte to Baltimore. Luckily, it was just like a one hour flight. Um, she was able to get there late, but we were able to get to San Juan. Now, I just got out of the shower and I am going to try to sleep. Our overnight here should be like 12, 13 hours now with a delay. Originally 16. So I'm going to get ready to go to bed and then I will see you in a couple of hours for our day two of this fake three day trip. hours later after my eight hour nap it is uh, 11 57 a.m. and my van today is at 4 32 my report time is at 502 I'm just thinking now that by the time we get there KCM might be closed oh man I am about to make some gourmet breakfast here I have some rice cake and peanut butter I have two boiled eggs that I apparently don't know how to peel eggs because they're like all over the place and then I also have some uh, Yaokono coffee and a Greek yogurt. This is all I'm gonna have for breakfast. We are on a roll here, um, trying not to spend money on these trips. I do have food for tonight. So after I eat this, I should be good with having food for, for my two flights tonight. We do San Juan, Atlanta, then Orlando. Uh, funny story. Your friend Adventures was supposed to be on this trip with me. She, I guess, I don't know if she picked it up or swapped what she had for for that trip. But then eventually, she asked me, "Don't swap out of it." And I was like, "Well, I won't promise that I'll keep it because if something else comes up in more hours, I'll probably, uh, you know, just swap to that." But then I kept looking at the trips that keep coming up, and I was like, "You know what?" I'd actually have to work three days on all these other trips and for this one it's just a fake three day. So I was like, you know what, I think I think I'm just gonna just gonna keep it. And then I realized that she swapped out of the trip and I was like, yo. But I guess she found uh, productive trips. Plus she was saying she needed more hours, so I understand no hard feelings. Mm. This is very good. I'm gonna have breakfast here and then I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Looks like I'm about to tell ghost stories, but I just got out of the shower and I am going to read whatever I have left of this book. Hopefully after I read this, I pass out and I nap. I already have my alarm set in case that happens so that I can be downstairs right on time to go work my flights. So uh, let's nap for a little bit and read for a little bit as well. It's time to make some lunch and get ready to go to work. Let's do it.
well, well. It is 4.17 a.m. I was supposed to be back tonight at, I don't even know. I don't even know what time I was supposed to get back to Orlando. Probably around midnight. Yeah, 12.14 a.m. And it is now 4.17 a.m. Today was a very rough day and I am going to be very honest and this message is for a lot of you guys out there that want to be flight attendants. Some of our days are not are not pretty. We had a mechanical delay and we had passengers on board and it was a lot and you know we try to do our best and, and explain and we try to share the knowledge that we have but sometimes information that passengers have is the same information that we have or some of the tools that passengers have to look at connecting flights and stuff like that are the same that we have. Of course, you know, we always try to do our best and make sure that we, we help everyone in every way that we can. I don't think people understand that. And again, this is for a lot of you guys out there that want to be flight attendants because you guys are going to go through this. It's a lot and you have to handle these situations right there with a plane full of people. And it's not fun. We're not getting paid. You try to tell them, you know, what you know, and sometimes it just doesn't work. You have to kind of handle your emotions, you know, because you are at work and you're there for a job. And so, yeah, I feel very overwhelmed right now, but luckily I have the next few days off. Today is Friday now. I don't go back to work until Monday. So that's good for me. Flight attendants are not at fault for weather delays, for mechanical delays, for any sort of delays. We work inside the planes and we can tell you maybe, you know, the time for a connection, but we can't rebook you. We can't find you a new flight. We can't do any of those things. So please don't get mad with your flight attendants if they can't rebook you on another flight. That's not our job. We're there for safety. Our job is inside the planes. We have nothing to do with rebooking, cancellations, refunds. None of those things. Ultimately, it might not seem like it, but we're probably suffering, you know, just the same as you are. For example, our report time today was 5.02, and we were not getting paid this whole time that we were on the ground, and, you know, it's it really sucks, and, and that's the nature of the job. Regardless of the airline, this happens at every single airline. We don't get paid until that door is closed. Just be kind of your crew. The majority of the times, we, we don't want to get stuck. We don't want to go through those situations. We want you guys to get to your destinations and I'm just gonna say it. We're kind of looked at as a punching bag when all we're trying to do is help. If you're looking into getting into this job, just know that some days are going to be difficult. Still, this is my favorite job on earth and all days are not like this. I've had probably more good days than bad days, but uh, the good thing is that it is now over and I don't have to go through the same situation again and you know it'll be a whole new trip on monday and hopefully it'll be it'll be great i'm going to let you guys go now i have to do dishes before i go to sleep and then it'll be time for me to just sleep and not do a lot <laughs> until it is time to work my next trip so hopefully you guys enjoy coming to this chill short San Juan vlog. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And I'm going to see you next week for another flight and a vlog. Take care. Bye.